Okay, example five in more detail. Remember we were saying that part of the solution is let S be the number of searches on each team. Then one plus S is the total number of campers on each team. So we're going to follow this uh, equation. Number of campers equals number of teams times number of campers on each team. Number of campers was 21. They gave us that in the problem. There's a 21 for the number of campers. Number of teams, they said they wanted five teams. And number of campers on each team, he said that's going to be 1 plus S, where S stands for the searchers. So we got 21 is equal to 5 times 1 plus S. We write that equation out. 21 is equal to 5 times 1 plus S. Next, we use the distributive property. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times S is 5S. So now we have 21 is equal to 5 plus 5S. Now we're working with a two-step equation. So we're going to subtract 5 from each side. Okay, now we're going to subtract 5 from each side. So I'm going to take this equation and write it up here so you can see it. So we got 21 is equal to 5 plus 5s. This is a positive 5. So to get rid of it, I must put down a negative 5 and a negative 5. Remember, we start with addition first. Negative 5 here, negative 5 there. All right, so that means that this is going to cancel out. So now I bring down the 5s. On this side, I have 21 minus 5, so that's going to give me 16. So now I have 16 is equal to 5 times s. I want to get the s by itself. I'm working with multiplication. I read this as 5 times s. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 5, by 5 here and 5 there. After the dividing, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so that's gone. That cancels out. And I have 1s. And then s equal to 16 divided by 5, which is 3.2. Now, some of you may be a little bit confused on it being a positive 5. So 21 is equal to 5 plus 5s. That's where we are right here. Now, don't forget, 21 is equal to 5 plus 5s. That can be rewritten as 21 is equal to 5s plus 5. Notice, the 5 here is positive. The 5 there is positive. The 5s is also positive here, and the 5s is positive there. Notice here, the 5s is written with a plus sign. Here, the 5s is written without the sign. Here, the 5 is written without the sign, but here, the 5 is written with the sign. Because of the community property of addition, both these statements are the same. So the 5 is positive. That's why we end up subtracting 5 here. Okay, now that we got an answer of 3.2, we want to check for reasonableness. That is, we want to check to make sure the answer makes sense. The number of searches must be a whole number. In other words, you cannot have a piece or a part of a searcher. So therefore, we're going to round the 3.2 off to 4. We're going to round the 3.2 off to 4. Once again, you cannot have a half or a piece or a fraction of a searcher. A person must be a whole number. Because four searches per team would require a total of 5 times 1 plus 4, 5 times 1 plus 4, because we found that to be 4, and the 1 was the person who's going to record, so we get 5, parentheses, times 1 plus 4. Well, what's 1 plus 4? That's going to equal to 5. So, in essence, I'm saying 5 times 5. And then what's 5 times 5? That's going to be that 25. Okay, so now we know that mathematically we came up with 25 campers. However, that wouldn't make too much sense because all we can have is 21 campers. That 3.2, having to round that off, throws us off a little bit. But we still can reason the answer out. All right, so once again, the 25 campers is too much. We know. It could only be 21. Okay, now, with that in mind, then, four teams will have three searchers 
and one team would have four searchers. Four times three is 12. One times four is four. So 12 plus four is 16. That's 16 searchers. And since we're supposed to have five teams and each team has one recorder, we get 16 plus five. That would give us 21. 21 altogether. All right. And that concludes example five.